Minecraft is the second most popular video game of all time. It's been popular for around 8 years now, and whether you're a child or an adult, the game can be enjoyed by everyone. Some of the creations the community have made are almost unbelievable. From the Starship Enterprise all the way to a working quad-core computer within the game, you're watching Gamer Brain, and today we're taking a look at 12 of the most amazing creations ever built in Minecraft. Before we get into this video, remember to smack that like button if you want to see more gaming lists in the future. And if you guys are new here, remember to hit that subscribe button as well in order to stay up to date with all the latest releases from the channel. But without further ado guys, let's get right into it. Number 12, Los Angel Craft. Minecraft is no stranger to having real life cities built within it, and Los Angel Craft is exactly what you might guess a sprawling and detailed recreation of the city of Los Angeles within Minecraft. The build was originally created by Fujiwara1990 from over on the planet Minecraft forms and is one heck of a recreation of the city. The build not only features hundreds of buildings and other places to explore, but also features many of LA's best sites in a blocky form. You'll marvel in sheer amazement of just how large and expansive that this build is, and if you've ever wanted to visit Los Angeles, then download this map today. Number 11, Greenfield. Greenfield is what some would call the most realistic city in Minecraft. The city was originally planned and built by a team, going only by the screen name The Jester over two years ago. The team continues to expand on this very impressive build, making small improvements each week, as well as having more builders added to the team on a regular basis. This world delivers an amount of realism seen in very few builds in terms of how the city is mapped out, and whether it be the look of all the buildings which range from hotels to stadiums, or the roads that connect everything together, this map offers some of the most immersive and fun exploration that you'll find out there within the game, and this is a creation that you definitely don't want to miss. Number 10, Herobrine's Mansion. Herobrine's Mansion is a popular Minecraft adventure map created by Hypixel all the way back in 2012 and released on November 3rd of that year. The map allows the player to embark on a quest into the dreaded Herobrine Mansion, where the player must explore and fight 6 unique bosses, each with their own abilities, as well as a carefully and well-crafted storyline played out by an advanced array of command blocks activating at the right moments and corresponding to where the player is at within the story. Herobrine's Mansion was one of the first maps ever to take advantage of command blocks for storytelling purposes. The map has around 1-2 to two hours of gameplay time and of course features the ghastly Herobrine himself. Number 9, SS Augusta Victoria 1889. The SS Augusta Victoria 1889 was a Hamburg America luxury ocean liner that operated throughout the late 1800s. This Minecraft creation is an exact replica of its real counterpart within Minecraft. Built by Drash2005, who said it took him several weeks on his own to put together this mighty vessel, it has a fully designed interior ranging from dining rooms, boiler rooms, engine rooms, and of course the wheel room for the captain. Drash2005 went as far as to put all the information about the boat from the real world on the Planet Minecraft page and has paid astounding attention to detail in this awesome build. If you're looking for a creation like no other, and sort of a history lesson, then this is definitely one to check out. Number 8, Starship Enterprise. Set your phasers to amazement for this amazing recreation of the Starship Enterprise from Star Trek, based on the version from the film, Star Trek Into Darkness. Created by Pokedude809, this amazing recreation of the Enterprise is truly an amazing build with a length of 473 meters, a width of 229 meters, and a height of 109 meters. This ship has a whopping 21 decks on board, but sadly the interior isn't quite finished yet, but the creator says this will come in a newer version. He also plans on designing a bigger size Starship Enterprise with more decks in the ship soon, but for now, this amazing build can be downloaded and is ready to boldly go where no Minecrafter has ever gone before. Number 7, Solstheim. Grab your ebony armor and great sword as well as your bow cause you're going to Solstheim in Minecraft. This breathtaking build of the island of Solstheim from Skyrim was put together in Minecraft and is truly amazing. It shows the ever-growing passion for building other video game locations within Minecraft, 
and the love for Skyrim is still going strong to this day. It doesn't have any buildings or towns in it unfortunately as of right now, but it's still very large and expansive, and has dimensions of over 1540 by 1790 blocks. If you're a fan of Skyrim, then you won't want to miss this one. Number 6. The Harry Potter World Grab your wand, get a lightning bolt stuck on your forehead, and hitch a ride on the Hogwarts Express because you're a wizard, Steve. The Flow Network has been working for over two years to recreate the world of Harry Potter within Minecraft block by block, with locations including Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, Godric's Hollow, and King's Cross Station, as well as many many more. They have a nifty little feature that allows you to find and travel to any location in the Harry Potterverse by clicking on fireplaces around the map. The world also makes use of custom resource packs to properly show the diverse and wonderful world of Harry Potter. For Harry Potter fans, this is truly a cool build to check out, and it's pretty expansive, so you'll surely keep busy while checking it out. Number 5. King's Landing Enjoy Game of Thrones? Well this breathtaking and ridiculous build allows players to take a trip into the fierce capital city of King's Landing. This build has been worked on by many many people and has many locations from the show and books such as the Red Keep, the Great Sept of Balor, the Dragon Pit, the Dragon Square, and many many more. Players are even able to check out the progress of the build which is being worked on daily over at westeroscraft.com and even download updates for the map. If you're not a fan of Game of Thrones, this is one to check out just due to the sheer breathtaking amount of detail within this build. It surely won't disappoint and should keep you busy for hours to come. Number 4. The City of New Whistle Much like Greenfield, this has got to be one of the most breathtaking builds you'll ever see in Minecraft, ever. The City of New Whistle is a huge map that contains a hugely dense modern day city, with fully furnished interiors, that also has named streets and a navigation system, as well as 6 other unique towns and cities across the map that all amount to over 500 fully furnished buildings that were all built by one man who went by the name of Blip Noir over the course of the last 7 years as he started the project back in August 2010. He simply wanted to build a modern day city within the game, but the project quickly grew to be much much more than that. If you have Minecraft then this is a must download for every single player. Number 3. Working Cell Phone Builds like this really make you wonder if there are any limits to what you can build within Minecraft. This is a working cell phone that allows you to call real life phones from the comfort of your own blocky world. This was first showcased by Captain Sparkles here on YouTube and was part of a project funded by Verizon that not only allows you to call places but also allows you to video call anyone and browse the web from within the game. Unfortunately, this project was never released to the public, but it's still an example of some of the amazing things that we can do within Minecraft, and truly shows that within the game, the sky is the limit. Number 2. Working Quad Core Computer Still not amazed by the wonders we can build in Minecraft? Well, to put it simply, players are even building working computers within the game. So here comes some nerd talk. Just take a look at this advanced quad core computer built by one Minecrafter known as Lego Master 99. The computer has a 15 by 15 graphics processing unit and contains a 3 digit decimal display and raw binary display. Its specs are an 8 bit architecture, variable clock speed, and 4 cores each independent of one another, but to put it simply guys, that is truly amazing that somebody was able to build this within the game. If you're a computer whiz or just a big fan of Minecraft, then definitely be sure to give this one a download. Number 1. Pokemon Red If the last two on the list didn't amaze you, then this one surely will. A Minecrafter by the name of Mr. Squishy spent over 21 months constructing an exact recreation of Pokemon Red for the original Game Boy that allows you to do everything you could in the original Game Boy Classic. It's done by using over 357,000 command blocks to run commands to make it all work along with a custom resource pack that takes advantage of tools each having different textures for each durability state. He started construction immediately after finishing his equally as amazing Pac-Man and Minecraft build and if you're a fan of Pokemon, like Minecraft or you're just still trying to catch them all, be sure to give this one a download today. 
Okay guys, and there you have it. There is 12 of some of the most amazing builds in Minecraft. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you're new here and like what I'm doing, then remember to hit that subscribe button down below as well. Also guys, let me know down in the comments if you ever played Minecraft before. I was a huge fan when it first came out, but let me know if you played it or if you still do. I know it's hugely popular within the gaming community guys, and it's pretty cool. So anyways guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. This is Tyler from GamerBrain, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.